Welcome uh, grade 11s and 12s to statistics. Let's go to the information. Each child in a group of four-year-old children was given the same puzzle to complete. The time taken in minutes by each child to complete the puzzle is shown in the table below. Okay, now let's uh, answer the questions. Question number one, you need to complete the cumulative frequency column, which is easy. Uh, we've got two, then we add two plus 10 is 12. 12 plus 9 is 21, 21 plus 7 is 28, 28 plus 8 is 36, 36 plus 7 is 43, and 43 plus 2 is 45. So the cumulative frequency will give us the total number of the children at the end who participated. So we've done this. We've filled in the cumulative frequency column, and of course, we've been adding uh, these number of children, and we know how many children completed the puzzle. There were 45. Number three, we are asked to calculate the mean. Uh, remember, the time taken goes uh, in intervals, and in we will definitely have to calculate the average mean. So if you're calculating the average mean, we'll be using the middle point in that interval. And because these values are equal to 6 exactly, so the middle point would be 4. Between 2 and 6, we've got 4. So the way we're going to calculate our mean, we'll take the middle point in each interval. So for the first one, the middle point is 4, and then we'll multiply it by 2. For the second uh, interval, the middle point between 6 and 10 is 8, and we multiply it by 10. And so it goes. The middle point between 10 and 14 is 12, and we multiply the 12 by 9. So we'll do the same thing for all the intervals. Okay, and of course, to calculate the mean, we would divide it by the number, total number of children. And of course, that will give us a total of 692 over 45 uh, children. So if we take 692 and we divide it by the total number of the children, uh, if we round this off to two decimal places, it will give us 15,38. Yes, 15, 38. That is our mean value. Let's moving on to the next section. All right, a test was written and the values for this test are recorded. And remember, it's only one test. So uh, when you go to your calculator, select mode and of course this is statistics, so stats. And because we only are recording one test, or one set of values, which was one, variance of one, and then we can plug in the values, uh, starting from 10.
okay there's an error somewhere so let me just try to do this one over okay let's try again try to be more careful this time Okay, I think that was correct. We've got all the 10 values. So press the equal sign and then go to on shift one. So now we may answer the questions. Now remember, uh, we're using our variance. So we select four. And for the first question, we are asked to calculate the mean value. Of course, the number two gives us the mean value. That's the symbol there that we use for mean. So we select number two so the mean value is equal to 28 comma 2. let's move on to the next question all right so calculate the percentage of values that are within one standard deviation so within one standard deviation means that we need the lower end and the upper end so we're going to take our mean value for the lower end remember our mean value was 28 comma 2 and uh, we're going to subtract the standard deviation and then for the upper end again we'll take our mean value but now we're going to add the standard deviation in order to check how many of our values are within one standard deviation. So if you go to your calculator again, variance, and of course we're looking for standard deviation and that's the standard deviation symbol there. So we select three and our standard deviation will be 8,96. 8,96. That is our standard deviation value 8,96 so for the lower end we take our mean our mean 28,2 for the lower end we subtract the standard deviation so our lower end is 19,24 Then our upper end, we add the standard deviation, 37,16. Okay, so the values within one standard deviation are the values that lie between 19,24 and 37,16. So let's look at our values. All right, so that is obviously not within our standard deviation because it's less than 19. That is also not within our standard deviation because it's less than 19,24. But this is within, this is within, this is within, this. All of these values are within the 37, but the 39 is not because it's more than this. Remember, values cannot be less than 19,24 and they cannot be more than 37,16. Once they are, they are not within uh, the standard deviation. So of course, the question was to calculate the percentage. We know we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven values uh, within the uh, standard deviation. But if we, of course, want the percentage, we must, we've got seven out of 10, and we multiply it by 100. So that will be 70%. So 70% of the values are within one standard deviation. Seven of those values out of a total of 10 to get a percentage multiplied by 100 to give us 70%. Okay, so that is the grade 11 and 12 part of statistics.